Hello everyone, today I will be sharing with you the recipe of the Dalgona pudding. I'm sure you all have heard of the recipe of the trending Dalgona coffee, which is all over TikTok and YouTube. So I attempted to make a pudding version of the same recipe called the Dalgona pudding. I hope that you will like it. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and share with all your friends. I have already uploaded a Malayalam version of this recipe so you can check that out if you want. So first I've taken a bowl and filled it with 1 cup of lukewarm milk and after that you have to add 1 teaspoon of instant coffee powder. If you don't have instant coffee powder and you're using normal coffee powder, you'll have to use boiled milk. Otherwise it will not mix well and dissolve in the milk. If you want, you can add another half teaspoon of the coffee powder if you wanted to have a stronger taste of coffee. Here I'm adding three tablespoons of condensed milk. Now mix it well and keep it aside. Now take the tray in which you wish to serve the pudding. You can either use finger biscuits or normal tea biscuits. I'm using uh, tea biscuits over here because I don't think everybody will have finger biscuits. So you have to lay it out on the tray like this. Now pour your mixture over it like this. Now you can keep this aside because we're going to start with the second layer. Now I'll be adding thick cream, whipping cream and icing sugar into a bowl. Uh, it's one and a half cup of whipping cream. Uh, icing sugar is not necessary if your cream has a lot of sugar in it, but otherwise you will want to add it. Now you want to mix it all together in a bowl. Uh, under the bowl, you'll, you'll have to keep a bowl of ice water. Another important thing that you have to remember during this is that you have to keep the blade with which you're mixing in the freezer for a while before using it so that it comes out smoothly. For the thick cream, I'm using a packet of 250 ml and I'm using 3 fourths of the packet. It should come out very fluffy like so. Now we're going to add this as a second layer on top of the biscuits. You have to spread it evenly across the surface of the tray. The thing about this pudding is that you can add how many ever layers you want. I'm doing two layers here. Uh, I just put another layer of biscuit and now I'm going to pour the coffee milk mix. You can add how many layers you want but it depends on the height of the tray. I'm putting the whipping cream mix again. Now since it is a Dalgona pudding, it's time for the Dalgona layer. For this, I'm using 2 tablespoons of sugar and 2 tablespoons of instant coffee powder which I used earlier. And I'm going to powder it so that it mix, mix as well. But I'm not using all of this in the pudding because I may make coffee afterwards. So I'm saving this for that. You can st store this in an airtight container and store it in a fridge for a few days if you want to make Dalgona coffee afterwards. I also added 2 tablespoons of water into the mixture and I'm mixing it very well. Now it will be very creamy and pale. You can add the thick cream to this. You should also add chocolate spread. You can add 1 to 2 tablespoons of each, it's up to you. This step is very very important because otherwise it will become bitter. So you want to add uh, thick cream and chocolate spread. Otherwise it will become bitter and it will become not edible. Now I'm putting a very very thin layer of it across the surface of the pudding like this. If it's too thick, it'll be very bitter. So you want to make it very, very thin, just barely covering the white. And now I have the, some Hershey syrup and uh, I'm just going to decorate the pudding. You don't really have to do it. It's just for beauty. 
so you can decorate however you want. As you can see, I'm using some chocolate chips and cashews and the syrup. But if you have any creative ideas, you can do that. This is just my idea and this is what I'm doing, but you don't really have to do the exact same thing. Before serving, you'll definitely have to keep it in the fridge overnight. And if you're going to keep it in the freezer, then you'll have to keep it outside before serving uh, for at least half an hour. And then you can serve it. So I hope you like this wonderful recipe. I hope that you will share it with all your friends and you'll give this video a like and you'll subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.